Hi, I'm Planker Tanker. This is a series of short videos about my airsoft weapons. This video is about the Tokyo Marui G3 SAS. This SAS G3 is used by my son. No stock on it. At the back here we've got a little loop for your sling attachment. We use a basic nylon sling that clips onto this and it just hangs off the shoulder. Here we have the iron sights that come with the weapon. You can adjust them for range by turning the sight to the left or right. The idea is you look through those and line them up with the iron sight at the front, which is in fact made out of plastic. This is position one. We've got position two, position three, and finally position four, and then back to position one. It will turn in any direction, you go from 1 to 4 to 3, you can get uh, mounts that fit on this, we haven't got any because it's used for CQB in close uh, battles, indoors, that type of thing, and really don't have time to use them, it's just a matter of holding the weapon up getting to a doorway, going around the doorway and using the weapon. On this side, um, all we have at the back end here is the injection button for the magazine. Now this is an H and K, so it uses the thick magazines. It comes with a high capacity and we've bought an additional high capacity magazine, about 450 rounds. So there's the little magazine, quite a stocky one. Um, you can inject it uh, in two methods. One method is to push this button. Um, it's a bit of a stretch for me, but um, I suppose the idea is you push the button and you can eject the magazine. Now the other method that I use all the time is this tab here where again you grab hold of the magazine, you use your thumb on the tab and the magazine comes away. You can then get another magazine easily, put it in, lock it in place. Here we have the uh, lever for the magazine eject um, and as I've said because I'm right handed it's very easy to use. You use your left hand to hold the magazine, thumb on the lever, push it forward and the magazine comes away. On this side of the weapon we have the safety switch and fire mode selector. It's a combined. Um, in the current position it's pointing at a white bullet with a cross through it. That means safe. One click is a single bullet, it's exactly uh, as it indicates, one pull of the trigger is one BB. Um, another click down, multiple bullets shown, uh, one pull of the trigger and it's on full automatic fire. Here's the fire selector and safety switch combined. At the moment it's pointing to the white bullet with a cross on it, which means it's in safe mode. One click. Single bullet in red is semi-automatic fire. Another click. Multiple bullets in red is full automatic fire. It only works on the left hand side of the weapon. Move back to this side. Um, I've actually added three rails to this G3. Um, left and right rails and the bottom rail. See the rail here. One on the bottom, one on the side. And um, as you can see, what we've done, we've added um, a GMP Scorpion adjustable torch. And this on the bottom rail is a um, hand grip. Now this hand grip operates by a wheel at the bottom. So you actually turn this wheel, which pulls a pin down so you can adjust the hand grip on the rail to whatever position you want it. And again, the idea of this is it's used indoors. So we're going to come around the corner and we're going to give you some of that. 
So you get that in the face, um, you're going to be slightly disorientated and that should give us a bit of an advantage. Also, it's usable in night games in its current configuration. As with all the Scorpion multi-head torches, undo the lock, you can pivot this head to any position and then you lock it in and it will stay there. Pressure pad on the front grip operates the torch. 